Greetings, disciple groups. It's good to be with you for another week. Here we are in week four of the Sermon on the Mount, looking at Jesus's call to love. And so we will indeed be challenged today. But before we, we get into Matthew chapter five, I do want to just uh, share something that I think will help kind of orient us to the task at hand. You know, the call of, of disciples, of that which we're seeking to live into right now, uh, the call of discipleship is to learn the way of Jesus. You know, the early followers of Christ often identified themselves as people of the way, which meant that they understood that they were seeking to learn not only Jesus' teachings, but to seek to follow his example. They wanted to follow the way that Jesus lived to imitate him in all that they did. And, and I just feel like it's good to remind ourselves that the task of discipleship you know, isn't checking a box that you attended a discipleship group or you're in a Bible study. Like it's to say, am I learning Jesus's way? Am I following him? Am I a student of Jesus? Not just to know more information about him, but because I want to imitate him in my life and to live as he lived. Your aim of a disciple is to replicate the life of Christ in their own life. We know we need God's help for that, and, and so we pray God's grace to help us in that. But but this is just what we're called to do. And so I, I, as we get into this teaching today, I just think it's good to set the stage uh, for that. Um, so let's go ahead and see what Jesus' way looks like here. Uh, I want you to read Matthew chapter 5, verses 38 through 42. I want you to have some conversation, then we'll come back for a little bit of teaching and a question. Well, I take it you had some fun conversation around this one. Uh, this is this has to be one of people's least favorite teachings of Jesus. Uh, I don't think I've ever been in a Bible study where people re like received what, what I've had to say about this or always seems to be a tendency to want to explain away what Jesus says and to go, well, Jesus doesn't really mean what we think he means here. Um, we like to try and play games with the turning the other cheek and, and all of that stuff. Um, and I think we try to explain it away. And the reason we like don't like it is because it's so contrary to human nature. I mean, our experience and, and our nature is in such that we're used to taking a shot from somebody and just turning away. Like, we don't see that in our world. And that's Jesus's point. The point is that it's against our nature and against what we know to be true here in the world. Because what Jesus is doing, and what becomes very clear here, not only in this teaching, but in the one to follow, is that Jesus is contrasting two different kingdoms. On one hand, you have the kingdom of the world, uh, which, which you know, values retribution and getting back at the person who, who harmed you. And the other side, you have the kingdom of God which doesn't value those things at all. You know, we see in the, in the kingdom of this world, I mean, it's perfectly fine, acceptable, and you'll even be applauded for, for striking someone back who hurt you or, or refusing to give someone something. I mean, we, we can get, you know, we can get praised for that in this world because, you know, pride and the idea of retribution is like a value in our world, but not so in God's kingdom. Pride is not a virtue. Humility is a virtue. And humility helps us understand that we have such security in Christ that we don't feel the need to rush to our own defense always. Doesn't mean you don't defend yourself at times, but, but we don't feel the need to, to worry about whether or not we give away our code or go on this journey with another person like to go further than we might want to go. Like, because in God's kingdom, like we realize that what we have in the kingdom of God and in the life to come, like these kind of things don't matter. You know, striking back at someone and, or, or a coat or you see these things don't matter in the kingdom of God. And, and so we're free to part with these things. 
um, because our values lie somewhere else. Uh, now every time I said that in a Bible study setting, I, I didn't, nobody's liked it. And maybe you won't like it either. And, um, but I bet you'll have some good conversation on it. And, and so that's kind of the point of this is to stir that up. And, and to wrestle, what is Jesus really saying? What is he calling us to here? What does that look like for us to live in this way? Uh, and so I'll pose the question to you this way. How do we live with God's kingdom values inside an earthly kingdom? Because that's what we are. We're, we're here in an earthly kingdom, but, but we're to live with God's kingdom values. How do we do that? Can I have some conversation? Well, I take it you had some lively conversation. You can now turn to the next section, and if you're hoping it gets easier, I don't know that this one's going to be the easy part for us, but it's going to be good. And so why don't you read Matthew 5, 30, uh, 43, excuse me, through 48. Have some conversation, and we'll come back for a little teaching and, and a question. Well, I warned you, it didn't get a lot easier. <laughs> uh, again, when we think of the kind of two kingdoms that Jesus is talking about here, in the earthly kingdom, hating your enemy is is just kind of a, it's just normal practice, right? Uh, but in God's kingdom, uh, it's not. In God's kingdom, we are called to love our enemies. And, and again, we're resistant to this idea, we think, but do, don't you know what they've done? Like, this is my enemy, right? Um, they've hurt me. They've said that. I mean, we can think of all the ills of someone we would call an enemy. And we're immediately kind of resistant to the idea of loving our enemy. And we love to justify and say, but, but, but don't you know what they did? And, and yet Jesus' teaching stands. And, and here's why. You see, it's not really about your enemy. It's not about what your enemy has done. Um, this is about you. See, Christ knows that we are children of God. We are children of a God who loves perfectly. That's what Jesus says when he says he causes the rain to fall on the righteous and the unrighteous. You know, God loves and serves all people. We are called to excel in love as our Heavenly Father excels in love, as our example of Jesus excels in love. And so it's not about what our enemy does. It's about us and who we are in Christ. And it's about loving in a way that shows that we indeed are children of God, You know, verse 48 is, is one of those really challenging verses to us. It says, be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Now, this is a call in the context of what we're looking at here, to love perfectly as God loves perfectly. Now, I, I know that um, we fall short on this one. <laughs> There isn't a person watching this video who is perfect in love or, or, or reach the standard by which we see in Christ or, or in, in the Father. Um, we all have a ways to go, and we confess that. But, but part of what I think we need to do here is we need to make sure that we're aiming at the right thing. Because it's easy when you live in a kingdom like our world that justifies hating our enemy and hating even people who think differently than we do about things. It's easy to go, well, I just need to love a little bit better than they do. That's not what we aim for as God's children. 
we aim to love as our Heavenly Father loves, as Christ loves. So we aim for that, and we may miss it, but we're going to aim for the right thing, and we're going to grow in that direction. And so that's our challenge today. And, and the final question is, you know, just what can we do to grow in our capacity to love? If we're to aim for loving as our Heavenly Father loves, how can we grow toward that? Uh, after you have some conversation, just, just feel free to close in prayer or if you have extra time to share, you know, how, how was your soul doing? How's your life with God? Um, it's been great being with you and, and bless y'all.